Welcome to PicoGenius.com, where science electronics and microcontrollers come together. In part one of our uh, weight scale video, we looked at the uh, components that were required to build the weight scale, in, uh, including the load cell, the uh, load cell amplifier, and the microcontroller. We also looked at um, some initial software, the main routine for collecting weight scale values. In this part, part two, we're going to continue with uh, looking at the software. In particular, we will look at the library um, that's called by the main routine. We'll look at some serial communication protocols, and we will uh, look at a live demonstration of the uh, scale and operation. Now that we've gone through the main program, let's take a look at the library that's called by the main program. The first thing that the library does is it imports um, time modules so that we have time delays uh, within the software. This block of uh, code is called a con constructor for the HX711 class, and it takes three arguments, PD underscore SCK, D out, and gain. It sets up the um, pins and the gain and initializes the offset uh, to zero. This bit of code is a method that could be used to change the gain on the HX711. Uh, we, we maintain a gain of 128 uh, through the program, so we don't make that change uh, in the main program, but if you wanted to, uh, this is the uh, method that you would call to to make the uh, gain change. The read method uh, begins by pulling data. It does this by by looking at the data pin until it uh, goes to a low condition. If the data pin does not go low within 500 milliseconds, uh, then an error message is sent to the the user. When the data pin does go low, raw data from the conversion of the load cell is shifted into the 24-bit variable called result. This is accomplished by pulsing the pin and reading the data pin. Every time that the, um, the clock pin goes high, uh, uh, the data is read. Initially, the gain was set by shifting in um, extra um, bits uh, to the HX711. This bit of uh, code takes uh, out those extra bits that were shifted in uh, to command the, the uh, gain that we wanted. This bit of code does two things. First, it ensures that the weight value is positive. And um, it, ret it returns that value with the offset subtracted. Uh, subtracting the offset calibrates the weight scale. These three methods are used to determine the offset value, which calibrates the weight scale. Terra reads the average method, um, which reads the load cell multiple times uh, with no weight on the platform. This value is averaged, and the offset is established and is used to calibrate the scale. Um, what we want to do next is go to a live demonstration. Um, but before we go to a live demonstration, I want to uh, show you the traces that I got off of the um, logic analyzer and uh, explain the serial communications. So, as you can see uh, in this routine, the um, the data line is pulled, and it's pulled for um, it's pulled for 500 milliseconds. If at the end of the 500 milliseconds the data line has not gone to zero, um, then an error will be generated that says sensor does not respond. If within that 500 milliseconds the data line does go low, and this is the data line in a low condition, data line in a high condition. Then the first thing that's done is the variable result is zeroed out, and 
the bits that are the con A to D conversion of the load cell are shifted in to the result variable and um, and then that value is processed. You'll notice that um, the number of bits that are shifted is going to be the 24 bits for the weight scale value plus uh, the number of of uh, bits for requesting the gain that you want. For 128, uh, one bit is request one bit is sent to request the gain of 128. That means there's going to be 24 bits of communication for 128 a uh, gain of 128. If you look at the clock signals here and you count them, you will notice that there's uh, 25 clock pulses. Uh, later on in the program, uh, that uh, bit for the gain will be subtracted out, as I explained in the in the section on the uh, on the code a little bit earlier. So what we've looked at here is we've looked at the hardware required to uh, to build a, a weight scale using a HX711 and a Pico Pi. And we've looked at the software. We've looked at the communication uh, between the uh, between the Pico Pi and the HX711. Uh, so what we're going to do next is we're going to look at a live demonstration. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I've got my program running in Thani. This is my uh, command line, um, the weight scale and weights and everything are showing up at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to launch the application uh, and the application is launched and it says, uh, as you can see from the top of your screen, it says zero grams. So I'll take a 10 gram weight and I'll place it on the scale and it is reading 10 grams right here. I'll take a 20 gram and it's right at 20 going between 20 and 19.9 um, we'll try a 50 gram 49.9 grams and how about we'll try 100 grams 99.8, 99.7. So on the upper end, we're losing a tenth of a gram. We could probably uh, program that out. 200 grams, I get 99.5. So the percentage of air is going down as we go up in weight, uh, even though we are uh, varying by a gram or two. So, um, that is the demonstration of the weight scale in operation. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Oh, but before we go, I'd like to uh, do a couple acknowledgments and give you some information on where you can get some parts to build this circuit. First of all, uh, I would like to acknowledge two people. One is uh, uh, Indrek. Um, he has a YouTube video HX711 with four wire lo four wire load cell uh, interfacing to the Adreno, and there's the URL where you can get to his YouTube video. Uh, the second person I would like to acknowledge is Robert Hamilarth. Uh, he has the uh, uh, the original code that I modified. And also, um, he has a library with more extensive uh, functions in it. If you want to expand this uh, to do other things, you might check out his um, his GitHub um, environment, and uh, you can get to other videos that he's also done. Uh, lastly, uh, you can get to the 3D parts for the uh, scale at uh, Thingiverse. Um, 
at the URL that I'm showing on the screen. And uh, I bought my uh, load cells from AliExpress um, with the HX711, which is also outlined in the URL on the screen. Okay, so um, that's all I have, and I will see you next time.